Welcome to New Life Live with host and founder of New Life Ministries, Stephen Arterburn. New Life Live is dedicated to transforming lives one at a time, thanks to the giving hearts of you, our listeners. Our goal is to provide you with wisdom from God's Word to give you hope and help in life's hardest places. If you have a question you'd like to ask today, our phone lines are open. Call 1-800-229-3000. That number again is 1-800-229-3000. Now here's Steve. It is me and really glad uh, that you've joined us today and uh, hope and pray that we've got something to say that maybe hasn't been said in a way that you've heard it before or maybe something that uh, maybe God designed it just for you. We do have a great God and uh, never have we ever needed God more than as we're still in this, uh, this pandemic. But we're opening up. I'll tell you, people all around us are walking, biking, rolling, whatever they've got. And it's a wonderful thing and a, and a better feeling than we're stuck. But we still are kind of in this limbo place, not knowing what the future looks like. Uh, and it's not easy. If you have a question, a comment, if you want us to help us in any area, all you have to do is join by calling one 800 229 3000 and joining me is uh, a guy that's just full of wisdom and wit sometimes corny but really good wit uh and somebody i look up to really saved my life uh at, at a time when i needed it saving and always glad to be with him mylon yorkovich mylon welcome how you doing great to see you steve and be on the show again i've uh, missed <laughs> being with you and i'm glad to be back well, we're still kind of isolated, and and but uh, I wanted Mylon to come on, and Mylon can can be in studio, or be in his home studio, uh, which he is now, and still have great wisdom. Mylon, anything, uh, any observation you've had, or uh, any um, sense of life differently, or what what do you think about what we've been going through over these past few weeks? Well, I think it's very strange, Steve, and uh, unprecedented. And, um, you know, this really pushes at our need to know um, each one of us personally. We are used to a predictable world, and we are used to knowing what's going to happen next. And uh, in this world right now, we don't know uh, what's going That's to right. happen. And so when the Apostle Paul said, I've learned to be content in all circumstances, Oh, my goodness. Um, he went through a lot, and he had to prepare himself, and he had to learn to adjust to everything. And as we read right. the book of Acts and the epistles, he adjusted to a lot. And so that's that's kind of my theme is, Lord, help me adjust and be able to relax in the middle of it as much as I can and just adapt. Well, I think that's, um, that's kind of uh, the ultimate great advice. We need to, number one, accept whatever is and then be willing to adjust and adapt to it. And a lot of times in life, no matter where we are, what we're dealing with, we find ourselves um, kind of stuck because, first of all, we're, we're not accepting the reality. And then secondly, uh, we're not willing to do whatever it takes to get through it, get above it. And to that end, on my Facebook Live today, at five o'clock, I'm going through the 12 steps uh, and, and the grieving process uh, in the 12 steps. And I'm working through the book uh, on grief, the workbook. And what we're trying to do there, you see, is to let go of the things that we had, uh, let go of some stuff. And the motto is, let's get through it, let's get over it, and let's get beyond it. And you can join me right here, Facebook Live, 5 p.m. Eastern time uh, and and we're doing this really great work going through the 12 steps and grieving what we've lost some of you maybe you lost somebody 18 years ago uh, we dealt with a woman last week who was still bitter 18 years after the divorce well we'll help you with that right now 1-800-229-3000 1-800-229-3000 we'd love to talk with you you come join us for new life live glad you're with us 
I was skeptical going into it. Temptation is up. Isolation is up. It's the very things that feed addiction. Every day, thousands of women discover their husband is struggling with sexual integrity. And since shelter-in-place orders have gone into effect, traffic to porn sites has skyrocketed. New Life's Every Man's Battle Workshop can help. As they advertise, it really mm -hmm. was a no-shame zone. I've now yeah. got a, a herd of men in my corner. That support system is, is huge. During this time of social distancing, the Every Man's Battle Workshop will be held online Saturday, May 9th. Find sexual integrity, accountability, and connection. Register now to reserve a place at the Every Man's Battle Online Workshop. She saw the immediate change by the end of the day yesterday. Her and I had conversations, calm, respectful conversations. We've never mm -hmm. been there. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE, 1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We're back, Steve Arderburn here with Mylon Yurkovic and your phone calls. And uh, to join us, 1-800-229-3000. Uh, many of you know we've had some very, very helpful folks put together a matching gift fund. And uh, we don't get to use it, see it, and uh, utilize it until you match it. And you can match it. By calling 1-800-NEW-LIFE or newlife.com. Three hundred and Over $370,000 in that fund that we're so very grateful for. And when you match it, so your dollar is $2. And uh, I'm, I'm writing my check today uh, to New Life because I want my funds matched. You know, I want to support uh, when I can get double the benefit. So I'm doing it today. I hope you'll follow uh, along with me and we'll support new life get this radio broadcast out there to as many people as possible bring people in as many as we can to life-changing transformational events and then uh you know god will be honored and lives will be transformed all right 1-800-229-3000 let's first go to lisa calling from boise idaho hi lisa welcome to new life how are you doing i'm great how are you Excellent. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm going to be really quick. This is just an okay. update phone call. Um, I called back in March, and um, I asked you if my son was your son, what advice would you give him for um, a girlfriend that was dealing, well, not dealing with her past trauma, and him trying to be kind of like the Superman rescuer? He yeah. um, told me that I could call in, which I did. And then it played a day after his birthday, so it was like a gift. And then okay. he was so angry. He wasn't ready to receive your information. And then he well, what went what did we tell himself. what was the advice? What was the advice that we gave? You, okay, buyer beware. You have information about her past that she hasn't reconciled or got healing on. So mm -hmm. you know this. So buyer beware. You said um, since he's in the military, that he's gone through a lot of, you know, obstacles to get where he is, why would he not look at this with open and truthful eyes? You know what I mean? Like, just be yeah. totally aware of it. And then th there was three. It was Chris, you, and I think John Townsend, I think, but I can't remember, or Mylon. But you it all gave me. your own advice. That Okay, thank you. You all gave your own advice personally but it was all the same it was good and honest and real and he he was so angry with me and i said you told me i could do it so then he a week later he went into his you know room and listened to it and they're no longer together and he did apologize to me but i can't thank you guys enough because i, I don't know if you remember his relationship with his dad is sometimes awful and sometimes amazing but it's not great yeah. And you guys have filled the hole for us, me being a single mom. And I'm just so grateful. Mm. And I'm, you you help so many people. Mm. Lisa, thank and you so much. I just want to so tell much. you that I, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wonderful, but, wonderful. I mean, it, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. God Anything bless else, you guys. Anything else you want to say? 
Lisa, I, may I say I, that? I just, Lisa, I remember that call vividly, and um, I am just so grateful that you as a mom were an advocate uh, to try to intercede and see something that didn't feel right, didn't look right, Mm -hmm. and you were trying to protect your son. Now, there's a fine line between protecting and then uh, being too involved with people, but I think your request was a great one. I appreciate that he could um, be open to hearing it, that he gave you permission, that you even asked for permission to call us, and that then, you know, uh, he responded later, of course. Here's the thing. None of us want to hear bad news. None of us want to hear news that violates our emotional ties to other people. And with those emotional ties, sometimes there's a euphoria that goes along with them that's intoxicating and who wants to say no to that so what you did was brave i think it was balanced and i just want to thank you for being uh, a really good mom and then giving time for him to catch on yeah it's yes. pretty wonderful yes. and thank you. i hope and pray that two things people hearing this it would motivate them to kind of examine where they are and what they're going through or someone in their family is going through and then uh, secondly, you know, not just examine it, but make a tough, tough choice. Uh, hold on the line. I want to send you a, um, well, I'll send you a restoration Bible, just uh, our way of saying thank you for calling and hope and pray that your son continues on this path. You know, Mylon, one of the, um, the things that I remember uh, one of our early programs with uh, Henry Cloud, it just was very profound at the time. When he said, okay, so here you are, a single person. You are not bound by anything. You are free to choose anything, anybody you want. You can reject anybody. You, you're not locked in. You have a freedom of choice. You, you don't have to worry. If, you don't, if you're with somebody and you don't like something they do, you could say, hey, that's enough for me. Whatever it is. And then, with all of this freedom, you find a person that brings out the worst in you or causes all of these feelings of pain or you're just uncomfortable with them, whatever. And that's the person you choose. Now, most people would think that would kind of be a sign of mental illness. Like if you had a plate of food and all of it was stuff you liked except the one thing in the middle was liver or something like that. And you choose to eat the liver. He was like, that's crazy. I, there's fried chicken. Don't you want fried chicken? Yeah, I want it. But I'm going to take the liver. I mean, it happens over and over again. You know, Steve, it's very interesting that you said that because... Uh, at our marriage seminars, Dave Stoop used to talk about the intoxication and the the chemical intoxication that uh, takes over the brain when we yes. fall in love. It's a temporary euphoria. Here's the funny part. Um, I read an article in the, in the last six months, and a, a psychologist referred to this state that you described as a temporary psychosis. A psychosis yeah. is a belief in non-reality. And I was shocked that they would be so bold as to call falling in love a, a temporary psychosis. But really, we're, we're, we're falling in love with something which is a fantasy or something we want to believe. And, and it is in line with the euphoria of our emotional state and our uh, brain chemistry. So it doesn't surprise me that we pick the liver. <laughs> and no, and you know, here's the other thing. Fried chicken versus liver. I love it. Yeah. Well, here's the other thing. You have the euphoria, but then also you have the arrogance to believe that whatever is broken, my power, my love will cure it, will fix it. And that's where, I don't know if we need 80 four billion more people to prove that that never happens for you to believe it i don't know all right let's go to the back to the calls 1-800-229-3000 1-800-229-3000 
8,000. Let's go to, how about we talk with, well, I can't pull that up yet. I was trying to, but it's not free. Let's go here. Uh, Martha, San Jose, California, listens online. Hey, Martha, you're on with Mylon Yurkovich. Steve Arterburn here. Glad you are. How could we help? Hi, Steve. Can you hear me? Hey there. Yes, I can. Hi. And it's uh, so nice to hear you. Oh. Yes. It's, thank you so much for taking my call. It's such an honor to talk to you. I have been a fan of uh, Steve, you and your, uh, minister your new life ministry and has been a club member for over 15 years wow thank and you me so and much your counselor yeah yeah because i yeah i really um i'm really convinced that what you have done for the world is the most tangible and the most um powerful way to to bring god's good news and god's wisdom to the world um, you Thank and you. your counselor have, yeah, you have helped people like me in place we need it most, and you confront and battle the toughest issue in life. Mm. Well, what's so, going on yeah, in your I life to today? Show you how much. Yeah. Um, yes, I want to um, talk to you about. I'm calling for my younger son, and. Okay. Um, and I want to give you a, a very brief background. I am a single mom of two young men, 22 and 20, and they are both in college. And the older one is graduating this May, and the younger one is an engineering major, sophomore in a prestigious public university in California. I okay. have raised them alone since they were 10 and 8. Uh, when their father went back to join the business in China. So today I'm calling for my younger son. Um, yeah, it's about a video game problem. And this is actually very common, um, but I think it's a relatively new area. WHO okay, so just um, declared. Tell us about it. Yeah. What's he doing? Um, so he is a sophomore now and he has planned spend way too much time in playing video games. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I I feel he's demotivated and spend um, not focusing on his academic work. Um, and at home, he also disengaged in the family life. Um, he has failed um, multiple courses so far and has been on academic probation three out of six quarters so far. Um, mm. And the university required GPA of 3.0 to graduate, and his GPA is way below that. And okay. it's on the so what, of what have you done? to waste drugs. What have, you, what have you done to motivate him or demand of him that things have to be different? What have you done so far? So far, I, I have um, asked him to have a grade of A and B. Otherwise, I am going to, um, not, to, to not support him financially for continuing. And um, he put it back once, and then he dropped down again. And I gave him the same, the same, um, the same uh, warning, and but then he has two semesters, the last two quarters, he has been on probation. Um, I also encourage him to look for other um, major if he finds that his current major is not, um, okay. it's not the one he's interested. And okay. I ask so, him to real consider quick, other the, options. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so what is the question for us to right now? What is the question? We could answer. Yes, I. Um, well, so I think the biggest problem is he does not realize that video game is a problem. Okay, so he ask us a question a we can help you with. Well, before we go to this break, what okay. is the question for us? I'm asking for your advice. How how can I help him to see this as a problem? And as a mom, what should I do? Okay. We can help with that, uh, and we can get started with that. I'll ask Mylon 
Um, first of all, yeah, well, there's the music. We'll go to the break and then we'll come back. But you want us to, how do you help him see it? And I think he sees it. I just don't think he cares about it. But I think the big question is now, what are your options going forward? We'll start with Mylan there. These right. are always tough, tough situations. Uh, whenever a child is living at home, you know it's unhealthy. The results aren't there. Here's the question. At what age must a child learn to do what they're supposed to do? You can't hold a job unless you're willing to do what you're supposed to do, no matter how you feel. And at, if a person reaches the age of 22 and they still haven't found out how to do that, they got to have a parent intervene. We'll be back after this. For years, all I did was focus on my husband and my needs were unmet because of his sexual addiction. The counselors focused on him and all the books I read were about him and how to help him. My name is Shelly Martinkus and I want to personally invite you to the Restore Workshop. If you have been affected by betrayal, it might be that your husband has been looking at pornography. It might be an emotional, a physical affair. I would love for you to come join us. This weekend gives me permission to now focus on me. You will leave with hope, with a community of sisters ready to support you, and you will also leave with tools to move you forward on this journey. I am so thankful to New Life for giving me what I know now is going to be a new life. The Restore Workshop is coming to Dallas June 26th through the 28th. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE to find out more. That's 1-800-639-5433 or online at newlife.com. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. I'm an addict, and I'm trying to get God in my life again. You seem to be able to get to the crux of a problem quickly. Our Christ-centered treatment programs can help you break free to embrace all that God has for you and your family. I just want to thank you guys for bringing me to a relationship with Jesus. There really is help for marital problems, depression, addictions, panic attacks, and feelings of hopelessness. I came back with so many tools to help me prepare myself to fight this struggle and this battle that I have every day. You can start living again today, living the life God intended for you. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. They did care and they did follow up very lovingly and it made all the difference in my life. Call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Someone who cares is waiting at the other end of the phone. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Just call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 1-800-639-5433. We'd love to hear from you. If you have a question or a comment, call toll-free 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We are back and we're talking with Martha. And as I was, uh, oh, by the way, our phone number, 1-800-229-3000. And we'll be in the studio another hour and a half, 1-800-229-3000. As I was uh, saying there, Martha's got a 22-year-old who... Too much time on video games. Grades aren't there. He's not making it. And at some point, a child must learn to do what you're supposed to do. That's just a basic life skill. So, Mylon, what are your thoughts? I mean, there's... There, this is What's that? He's How old is 20. he? I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, my older 20. one's 22. Yeah. Okay. He's 20. All right. So, um, Mylon, what do you think here? I mean, we're... She really needs some help with this guy, and uh, you've raised a few of these. So uh, yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I've raised four teenagers and currently have several grandchildren who are teenagers. Um, I'm holding up a book here that you can see on uh, face. <laughs> is that the adolescent mind or the teenage brain goes from 12 to 24. So your son is still in the window of the brain that is rebuilding and pruning itself and rebuilding to become an adult. So, you know, one of the hardest things I had to understand as a dad is just the need to get kids through this wobbly stage where their brains 
are rebuilding and reformatting for adulthood, and it really helps every adult understand, every parent, I should say, of the incredible transformation that is going uh, on in a teenager's brain from the ages of 12 to 24. And some are even saying it's up to 26 now. Uh, boys are slower with the, the, develop, the excuse me the development of the uh, executive function of the brain where they can choose and do right things. Number two, I would really uh, Martha want to investigate his emotional stability. He comes from a home where Dad left when he was eight years old. Uh, I think you said. And so we don't know how high his anxiety is. We don't know how depressed he is. I would really want to investigate that because a lot of people escape into addictions, compulsions, and obsessions uh, because they're overwhelmed by their reality and they want to somehow make it all go away. So they get they just get very entrapped this way. And I would really want to invest into having a counselor, maybe the two of you, your son and you going in, and being able to explore that. Ultimately, when you find out what's driving the bus, if anxiety and overwhelmed feelings are driving the bus, then those need to be dealt with, and that would really help him. And then thirdly, I would say what's really important is that if he isn't being a good steward of the high-quality education you're providing him at a UC campus, then maybe he needs to go to a junior college for a while, and you need to demote him uh, and make him earn his way back up to a um, prestigious university. Well, mm-hmm. I, I do like that a lot. If so much. Yeah, Martha, because yeah. the worst the worst thing you could do is to just let him believe that trying harder and failing is okay. And so um, a realistic option, like we're going to pull you out of this school and put you in a different school, that's something that, um, you know, maybe he knows, oh, she's not going to kick me out of the house. She's not going to, but, ooh, that could happen. And I think that's, that's, priceless to have a viable option and a believable option that your child thinks you might take and so i I would just do that i'd say look either this happens this next semester or this is what we're going to do but i would do everything i could to put that boy in front of a male counselor with one agenda it's not uh a lot of things could be covered But if it doesn't result in him having a willingness to be responsible and do what he's been told to do, reach a certain standard in doing it, then it isn't any good. In other words, you know, to go back and and deal with just wounds that keep him wounded or focused on wounds, it's not going to help. But if if you've got a good counselor, they're going to deal with the wounds and the, then he's going to see that whether they hurt now or later or whenever, you still have to work through it and to get the work done. But hopefully the right counselor would help those not be wounds that would totally uh, destroy him. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to send you Mylon Kay's book, How We Love. Anybody else, you can get a copy of it, 1-800-NEW-LIFE. You can also get the workbook there. And we would absolutely love for you to do that. 1-800-N-E-W-L-I-F-E. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. All right, let's um, let's do this. Let's go to a break. If you want to join us, 1-800-229-3000. And uh, we'll take this break, and we're going to come right back to you. Glad you're with us today. Hope and pray that something that we say could mean something valuable to you. Now, if you... Want to support New Life? It's really easy. You just text NLM Match to 28950. NLM Match 28950. It is just that simple. And hope and pray that you can do that. We'll take this break. We'll come back for more of New Life Live. Really glad you're with us today. Appreciate the fact that so many of you, since this whole pandemic, you have stepped up and helped us because we're meeting needs in new ways like never before. We'll be back after this. For 
most of my life I've been dealing with an opiate addiction. Why is opioid addiction quickly becoming one of our nation's biggest killers? Maybe it's because it isn't only those who are addicted who are in denial. We did what I see so many parents do, is it can't be an addiction. There's something medically wrong. It's impossible to solve a problem when you don't know what you're up against, and families will try to find any explanation except the one that will put them on the right path. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a family disease. It doesn't affect just the individual. If someone you love is abusing painkillers, know what you're up against. It's time to admit it's addiction and seek treatment. Call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. We have Christ-centered partner treatment centers around the country. Call 1-800-639-5433 or visit us online at newlife.com. We just made a decision. We will do whatever it takes. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Hi, this is Steve Arterburn, and for 30 years, New Life has been the most trusted name in Christian counseling. Your ministry has saved my life. If you struggle with emotional hurt, family or marriage problems, the pit of depression, or the pain of addictions, we can help. I'm down 100 pounds now from what I was. You guys are awesome. You are a blessing to America. <laughs> Our treatment programs provide clinically appropriate solutions from licensed professionals all in a biblical framework. I have had problems with alcohol. I think God has ordained this place to be His. You don't have to be a prisoner of your pain. Help is available at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. She tells me that I'm a new man and I feel like a new man. It worked for me and it can work for them too. This time it is different. If you're ready to take the first step toward genuine spiritual and emotional healing, please call us today at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. God can open the door to a better tomorrow right now. Call one 800 New Life. That's 1-800-639-5433. We're glad you joined us for New Life Live. To be a part of the program, call 1-800-229-3000. Now back to New Life Live. We're back. Steve Arterburn here. Really glad you've joined us today. 1-800-229-3000. Let's go uh, right back to our phones here. And uh, how about we talk with Sarah calling from Omaha, Nebraska. Hey, Sarah, how are you today? I am well. How are you, Steve? Excellent. What's going on? I, I, I'm a faithful listener and a faithful supporter. Love you guys to death. Um, listening to Lisa talk earlier, I wanted you to know... Sometimes you might get off the phone and you might wonder, did that help anybody? Are those people going to get better? I called you ages ago. We're in ministry, and my daughter let us know that um, she was homosexual. And mm. I just, I was hopeless and afraid and, you know, embarrassed and didn't know who to talk to and was struggling. And I thought about it. I said, I support these guys. I love these guys. I'm going to call them. And my husband and I called you. And you, Steve Artaburn, spoke three words that changed my life and I believe the trajectory of my family. You told me, just love her. And when you said that, it just made it easy. I wasn't <laughs> struggling with the theology of it, the mm. nothing. I just said, you know what, God, I'm the mama. I'm, I'm just going to love her. Mm. And I have mm. to tell you that that gave me hope. I trusted your judgment. I trusted the Holy Spirit. And I want you to know she is married, loves Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Two-year-old. She is the most amazing mother, way better than I was. And I just want wow. you to know, you got to believe that, the, you know, if it's three words, God is using you. I love supporting you. I believe in the counsel. I believe that what the Holy Spirit does when y'all are finished. And I just want to say, keep doing it because I just <laughs> don't think I would have made it. My my mind, I had no peace. I wasn't in a good place. And I said, God, you, I'm, I'm in ministry, and I can help all these other people, and I can't fix my own child. Mm. Yeah. And I was struggling. 
And those three words you told me set me free. I had one thing to do. And that one thing I did, and I have seen the fruit of it. So just know when you get done with the phone call, the Holy Spirit is working. And I love y'all just tremendously. Mm. Well, Sarah, let, let me tell you, uh, I can't thank you enough because I think it's a, an encouragement to other parents to what to do. But uh, Mylon could verify this, that I, I, of all the calls that we get, um, the call that I probably hate to take the most is a call like yours. Now, let me tell you why. Because I think most parents are wanting some kind of formula, some kind of fix or something. And our answer yes. is always the exact same answer. And, and it's kind of twofold. Yes. It's, it's you love them, but that love uh, drives yes. you to stop uh, lecturing and to start trying to connect. That love uh, drives you to say, hey, I, I, I just didn't handle something well, uh, to humble down. And to hear that you did yeah. that and she responded, it just, it's such a great thing. But I, when I get a call on the board that says, you know, someone's struggling, their child uh, is, is off in a different world. I, I feel so bad for those parents. And I just know we're going to tell them to do something. And for some of them, unlike you, Sarah, when we say to them, just love them or love her or him, they can't do mm -hmm. it. They're just too angry or disappointed or whatever. And you've done that. So God bless you. And just let me uh, thank you by sending you uh, a restoration Bible. And, l you know, do not give up on God, everybody. God has not given up on you. Uh, let's talk to Larry. I mean, Larry, that's a great call to oh stop goodness. and ask people to support us. That what a, what a great two calls we've talked to today of people where they've taken the advice of the program. And we do a lot of stuff around here, and we love what we do. Nothing, nothing reaches more people than this radio program. That's so true. And it's, it's, it, it, we don't realize how many lives it changes. That's what I love. Yeah, and that's, that's why right. we're here. That's, that's what we want to do. We want to yeah. give answers, help people, and then let the Holy Spirit come in and do a work. And he, he does it with the advice you and Mylon and others give all the time. Yeah. And so... We have this matching gift going on, and it's mm -hmm. a big one, and we need your help. And we'd like to we'd like to uh, see if we can resolve this whole thing by the end of the month. And that's that means we need a lot of help. But people are starting to give, and there's a lot of ways you can give. And before I talk about those, I want to say thank you to Club New Life people. I can't say that enough because through this pandemic, you guys have given us uh, the, the base and the stability so that we don't have to be cutting things. We can keep doing the things we're doing and doing them in different ways and adding ways to reach and help people. But uh, I can't thank you enough. And if anybody would like to join Club New Life, we'd love that. But right now, my I want to focus and ask you to focus on the matching gift. Um, you can make a gift simply calling 800 New Life. Just tell them you want your gift to go to the matching fund. Uh, you could You could go online and make a gift to the matching fund. You can call, um, you can give by text. If you'll text to two, 28 950 and just punch in the, the letters NLM match, NLM M A T C H, you'll have to register one time only and you make uh, indicate the amount you want to give and it's that easy. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I can't thank folks enough. The folks who have provided this matching challenge, what a blessing. Uh, and the folks who will respond and those who already have, thank you. But we need your help. Uh, we're, we're doing fine, but we need to do better to stay on top of things. So thank yeah. you. Well, I want to say this, uh, Larry. I, I have been with New Life 31 years, and I have to, I have to tell you, I, I don't remember a call, a time when God has blessed us uh, more richly than in this very yeah. tough time. Yeah. I mean, it's just the hand. It feels like God's hand is upon this ministry. We're reaching people in new and different ways. 
And uh, this is there is no desperation or hopelessness here. And uh, so please come alongside what we're doing. Be part of it. 1-800-NEW-LIFE, uh, newlife.com. And Larry, thanks for all you do. And thanks to all of you who support us. And like Larry said, you Club New Life folks, it really makes a huge difference. All right, let's go to, uh, how about we talk with Ray, Alexandria, Virginia. WAVA is the station. And uh, anybody else want to join us? We'll be in the studio another hour in 20 minutes, 1-800-229-3000. Hey, Ray, how are you today? I'm blessed. How are you? Doing okay. What's going on in your life? Um, I want. I would like to know. You know, um, I'm. A, I, I met Christ in 2016, and that's when I um, uh, realized that um, um, my life is nothing without Him, and I gave my life to Him. Um, I've been introduced uh, um, from family members, and my mother and father take me to church, young age and everything. Um, my question there is um, that um, Chris is a, Chris is hurt, you know. Chris is Chris is hurt. Chris is, you know. Uh, most Christians of the hurt Christians. And, You're saying Christians hurt Christians. Yeah. Yeah, it really, it really hurts, you know. Um, most, well, most what has hurt you? Disappointments, huh? What has hurt um, you? Reject, re, rejections of other, bro, other uh, brother in Christ. Um, mm. uh, um, not really want to have a social life, uh, a fellowship outside the church, you know. Um, Everybody pretty much uh, once people get married, they they their time is basically get towards in the mar in my realm. You know, um, I'm single. I decided to wait until you know God presented me with the woman He wanted me to be. I've been like this for over six years. You know, uh, but I very I very rarely hear people preach on or speak about what is single questions. To do how to get past it. Okay, now I want you to hold on and uh, I want you to hold on. We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we will, um, well, well, we'll talk to you about what do we do when we feel rejected, especially if you're a man feeling rejected by other Christian men. 1 800 229 3000. 1 800 229 3000. We'd love to talk to you. Call us right now. 1 800 229 3000. We'll be back after this. After I found the pornography on the internet, I said you either get help or I have to leave this household. Every day, thousands of women discover their husband is struggling with sexual integrity. And since shelter in place orders have gone into effect, traffic to porn sites has skyrocketed. New Life's Every Man's Battle Workshop can help. I believe that I could do it on my own. I just believed if I tried hard enough and pulled myself up hard enough by my own bootstraps, I could do it. It was a battle that I'd had all my life. I had to get help. The Every Man's Battle Workshop can be a trip to the sexual addiction emergency room. During this time of social distancing, the Every Man's Battle Workshop will be held online Saturday, May 9th. Find sexual integrity, accountability, and connection. Register now to reserve a place at the Every Man's Battle Online Workshop. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. The single most helpful thing was to realize that I wasn't the weirdest guy on the planet. Call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. 1-800-NEW-LIFE. I was really living a very anxiety-filled life. I turned on New Life, and the topic that day was about anxiety. And just by listening, I got relief. You can help New Life Live stay on the air by joining Club New Life today. When you sign up to support us monthly through Club New Life, we'll send you the Transformation Welcome Gift, which includes a personal-sized life recovery Bible, a life recovery journal, and five life recovery workbooks. Plus, there are ongoing benefits, like access to the Club New Life video library, the monthly Club New Life CD or download, 
quarterly resources, free shipping on purchased resources, and discounts on workshops. I did go to Take Your Life Back. That's been immensely helpful to me. That's why I continue to support the ministry with the hope that it's not only am I helping my own situation, that I'm helping others as well. Support Club New Life, and together we can help hurting people find help and hope in life's hardest places. Call 1-800-639-5433 to join Club New Life today. To find out more information about New Life or to order any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Now back to New Life Live. We are back. Steve Arterburn here, 1-800-229-3000. On with Mylon Yurkovich. Mylon, uh, so um, we've got Ray feeling rejection from other Christian men. Um, what do you say just about in general of folks who feel uh, rejection, especially by uh, fellow believers? Well, Ray, it's very difficult. And I, you know, I think we all experience rejection from time to time. And I just want to tell you, it hurts. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Rejection does hurt. I think the other thing that's very important to realize here is, is um, the New Testament, as the Apostle Paul talks, to the various churches. He talks a lot about rejection. He talks mm -hmm. a lot about Christians struggling to get along together, and he's talking, talking to these Christians. This is 2,000 years ago, Ray. He's talking about people then in the early church struggling to get along, and uh, he names people in that journey um, that tells them to really work hard at getting along. Ultimately, what I would suggest to you is you have to hunt and go on a hunt for safe people. Yes, safe people right. are the people that will accept you where you're at, uh, who, who will uh, accept what your life is all about, and they will remember what you tell them, and then they will carry an empathy with them, and they will remember you. Uh, and that's what a safe person is. They don't harm you with the information. They want to remember you and they care. When I tell somebody and ask somebody to pray so about something for me, and then a month later they ask me, how's that going? Mm. I, I say to myself, there is a potentially very safe person, a person yeah. that I could learn to entrust more of my life to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, really good. And uh, let me let me send you something that's going to help you grow as a man. It's called Every Man's Bible. Uh, it is the best-selling men's study Bible. And a lot of men don't really read the Bible much until they get this one. And they open it right up. And if you're thinking of a great Father's Day gift, anybody, this would be a great one. You know, we also have Every Man's Battle, the book, 20th Anniversary, all the updated stuff in it. Uh, but I'll tell you, this Bible is something else. 1-800-229-3000. Uh, uh, I think I might just be able to squeeze in one more call. But if you want to join us on the next program, 1-800-229-3000. Let's talk with Sandy, San Diego, California, online. Don't have a lot of time, but I did want to try to get your call in. Hi. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good morning. Yeah, it'll have to be brief, but we'll do the best we can. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Steve, for taking my call. Thank you so much. I have very deep concern about my adopted niece. She is caught, I want to say, in the crossfire between my older sister, who is her legal adopted mom, mm -hmm. and my niece who is my older sister's daughter. So my adopted niece is currently residing with my older sister's daughter. Okay, what is, is the question for us then? Yes, how can I help my adopted niece? Because she deserves to be with her adopted parents instead of the, the her daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How can I help my niece? She's in a crisis. She's worried about her biological parents 
And instead of us addressing that issue, she's now stuck with my older sister's daughter who has serious issues with her mom. Okay. How can I help my adopted niece? She's going on 11 years old now. Okay. So have you talked with, uh, she should be in, you're saying she should be in the household of your daughter? Is that right? Of, Of her adopted parents, my older sister, yes. Okay. Have you talked to them about the problem? And that's it. My older sister is refusing to talk with me because I'm showing concern. And her daughter is also refusing to talk with me about this adopted child who's caught in Mm -hmm. the middle. Okay. Nobody will do anything about it. And so, my own, I don't right. know what you're thinking, but I'm thinking if nobody does anything about it, sometimes you have to call in people from the outside to intervene. What do you think, Mylon? Well, first of all, being adopted, and I'm, I know I have to be brief here, being adopted is a very traumatic thing for a child. I don't know how old she yes, was when she was already. adopted. Correct, yes. But it's an a, it, it's an a, it's a traumatic process. They're having to adjust to people, and sometimes yes. the well-intentioned people that adopt them um, aren't always prepared for what they get either. Their, mm-hmm. their anticipations right. are different than what reality is many times. Uh, I would pay very close attention to what the 11-year-old is saying and feeling because she yes. she is reacting and she's choosing something here. And um, yes. I think what Steve said is really important. I'd want to get more eyes on it. There should be a caseworker, a social worker that is um, involved. And I would make sure that I talk to the 11-year-old and ask her what she's feeling, if she feels in danger. Uh, why she's making her choices, what scares her, and I would do everything I can to find out what's going on and then find the placement people that were a part of the original placement or social case workers to help that. And Child Protective Services can also be a form of enforcing that. I think Steve was alluding to that earlier. Yeah, that's right. All right, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm glad that she she has you. I wish we had more time to go into more detail, but she has you. And um, maybe off the line, just hold on. We'll give you some more help offline here. But don't give up uh, on pursuing uh, what's right for her because you might be the only person uh, that cares enough to do any kind of intervention. All right, well... Um, as I said, we're just about out of time. Let me mention a couple of things to you. We have Every Man's Battle Workshop coming up on May the 9th. That's this Saturday. You don't have to travel. You just go online. And it's never been more accessible, more affordable, never easier. But the results are profound. We were so thrilled the last time we did it. It was amazing. So if you or somebody you love needs that help, please call and get the help that you need. Secondly, on Wednesday, by the way, the number 1-800-NEW-LIFE. Wednesday, special guest, you might want to tune in, uh, somebody I've admired for a very long time, Billy Graham's daughter, Ann Graham Lotz, is going to be on the program with us, full of wisdom, right out of the Bible, a very wonderful human being, and uh, somebody that I think you're going to enjoy hearing her wisdom and insight, um, and What a great family heritage uh, is there. Also want to mention that Restore is coming up. Intimacy in Marriage is coming up and Finding Freedom. And we're doing all of these online. So uh, you don't have to go to the expense of hotel and travel and all of those things. And you'll never know uh, how profound the impact can be unless you try it and do it. And that takes some willingness and some humility but I know you can. So the phone number is 1-800-229-3000 to join us on this program. But here's the number if you want to get involved in a workshop, if you want to help us, or you want another kind of resource like a Christian counselor right there in your area, 1-800-NEW-LIFE. My thanks to Mylon Yurkovich. Uh, so much help, so much wisdom, and so much heart for you. Uh, We'll do another program. You can watch us on Facebook Live right now for the second program. 
And you can call us at 1-800-229-3000. You have a great day today. See you at 5 o'clock on Facebook Live. We hope this program has helped you by giving you insights for handling the challenges you face in your life. We want you to know you, but you also need to know that New Life Live is a listener-supported ministry. To make your donation or to get any of the resources mentioned on today's program, call 1-800-NEW-LIFE. That's 1-800-639-5433 or write to us at New Life Ministries, P.O. Box 1029, Lake Forest, California, 92609. Please join us again tomorrow for New Life Live. Hi, Steve Artemir here. Thanks for watching New Life Live on our New Life YouTube channel. You know, you can see it anytime. Hope you'll subscribe. And when you do, hope you'll turn that little button thing on the bell so that whenever we post a new video, it'll ring right through. Now, if you go to newlife.com, you'll see the schedule of when we're in the studio, which is helpful to know if you have a question for the program. Or you could go to newlife.com or call us at 1-800-NEW-LIFE. You could do this on the app. I mean, there's so many ways that you can stay in touch with us and know when we're there because we want to answer your questions questions. So thanks for watching right here on the New Life YouTube channel and we'll see you next time. Click here to subscribe.